Imagine flying through invisible rivers of poison. During its journey, Artemis 1 confirmed a threat that is far more insidious than heat-deep space radiation. We are currently at the peak of Solar Cycle 25, a period of intense solar activity predicted to climax, in July 2025. Solar scientist Lika Guhatakurta has emphasized that preparing for this space weather is critical for the Artemis program. The sensors aboard the uncrewed Orion capsule revealed something chilling. Simply by changing the spacecraft's orientation, by rotating the vehicle, the radiation dose inside dropped by as much as half. Let that sink in. The difference between a safe mission and one that could expose astronauts to cancer-causing levels of radiation could come down to which way the ship is pointing during a solar storm. This isn't just about having thick hulls, it's about navigating unseen cosmic currents at exactly the right angle. Artemis 1 carried phantom torsos named Zohar and Helga, packed with sensors to measure organ-specific radiation doses, confirming the danger is not uniform. The data showed that without proper shielding and orientation, a single, large, solar flare could deliver a mission-ending dose of radiation in just a few hours. During the Apollo era, missions were short, but for the long-duration stays planned for Artemis, this radiation danger is a constant potentially lethal variable that makes every moment outside Earth's magnetic field a high-stakes gamble. 